Welcome, everybody. We are live here at the Air Capital Open in Wichita, Kansas. I'm Joel Ramos. I'm Eric Gregory. And we have a top 16 matchup here between Willie Bruyere and Chris Swift for the men's singles 501. This should be a good one. This should be a good this one. This should be a competitive match. We haven't had a competitive match the last three matches, so this one should be pretty good. Now, I, I do ask you this, though, is do you think the Spirits will take the best of Mr. Swift here? Or does he play better with the Spirits? Uh, that I do not know. I don't know him that well. Mm -hmm. But that's not a bad start. Nope, not bad at all. 140. Willie don't have a smile on his face. Now he will. He tends to get one later yeah. on, you know. He throws a 27. He'll be grinning when he comes back to the board, I'm sure. Oh, 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 oh he's Mike Maloney in it. Yeah. Pulled out his Put phone. Put the phone away, Willie. 59. Who's Mike Maloney, by the way? Uh, just a buddy of mine. He played arts? Uh, used to. Oh. Pretty sure he retired. <laughs> I prefer I prefer to call him uh, Mr. Becky Ann. Oh, know? okay. Yeah, yeah. I know her. Yeah, she's a, she's a sweet lady. Ah, oh, Swift. Well, he started with two triples. If he don't put his foot on the gas, Willie's going to come back. Yeah. And that's the dangerous part. It, it almost gets to the point when you see somebody like his caliber throw something like that, and you're thinking, Man, where was that break when I ever played? You know, yeah. He just, but maybe I don't hit enough to make him sweat nothing. Now, do you think Swift uses wow. those accurate darts or See, those, those uh, A180 tips? Uh, I'll have to look at him again when he throws again. I wasn't paying attention. I was paying attention to his showmanship. I mean, he's upset with himself, but I, I firmly believe that was a distraction tactic to slow Willie down. So I'll look at him here. Well, won't see that one. No, I don't think. No, they're not wiggling when they no, get, I think when they that's the a board. Tip. What are you shaking your head for? He's wishing that first start with a move. Yep. Well, he scored 140 to start. Together, his next 12 darts is barely over that. It's been all downhill from there. Yeah. Here comes Willie J. Oh, never mind. I was going to tell him to switch, but it don't really matter at that point. Although he did pick a triple. Just got to hit a big triple. There it is. Nice triple put a, there. Put a little pressure on Chris Swift. All right. 18. No, I go bowl, too. You go bowl? Well, I try to go bowl. That's usually where my dart hits. 9, 12, right in there. Single bowl leaves you 15 double bowl. Double bowl leaves you double 20. Definitely don't go 18, though, Joel. Hmm. Because if you don't trip it, you got to hit a triple or two doubles. If anything, it's 20. You hit the single, you got a single 20, leave your double ball. you got to play the odds and when he's on an out and leave yourself a chance. And there you have it. Willie J pretty much steals that leg from Chris because Chris started out hot and Willie was trying to catch up to him. Leads at one leg to zero. His alternating start did break throw. I didn't lie. It was a competitive leg. I just was thinking yeah. a few less darts than that, to be honest. But it was competitive. Now, after Chris, you're thinking, oh, my God. I started the leg, started with 140, feeling good. Willie followed me with 20-something. And there's the tactics again. Yeah. Now he's trying to act like he's disappointed, which he is disappointed. But... Being dramatic about it. Yeah, to be honest, two of those darts weren't even close to the triple, so what, quit begging is what I've always been told. Quit begging get out of the way. <laughs> There's that 27 again. That's probably why he's so good. I have not been able to figure out how to sneak that 27 in and still win the leg. <laughs> he's managed to figure that out. He's starting to get that grin, though. There's Big Willie. I think he knows what Chris is trying to do. Yeah. And he finds it amusing. And he turns his back. That's what I was saying. I mean, I would look down and just wait for him until I see his feet in my peripheral. Yeah. Or you could go back to the back of the stage like that, grab your water, or in his case, Coca-Cola. 
and just sit there and face the other way until you feel his presence coming back behind you. And just yeah. Slow yourself down rather than letting the guy slow you down and go from there. It's basically just finding another way to get put yourself into a rhythm. Because you're anxious getting ready to go, and when the guy's trying to, and, 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 if it's in your mind, you're thinking the guy's trying to slow you down. Yep. If you're standing there chomping at the bit, waiting, you're like, come on, come on, just get out of the way. Whereas if you're like, all right, he's trying to slow me down, then I'll slow myself down and figure out a pace where I'm comfortable at. So. Solid looking darts. 97 shot. 97. 95. No, that wasn't 95. Trip 20, single 18, single 19, right? Ooh. I'm pretty sure that was. Oh well. That's a triple. So. So Willie need 119. He hit the triple. He's on 62, leaving himself the bowl. Nice. And but nice. I want to watch his next round on the slow replay over here, but it don't matter. Willie J taking out the 119 there. Chris going up two legs to zero. Chris didn't say nothing, so. Race Chris. to three. That's a triple pony. Whoop. Yeah, he did hit 97. Oh, well. Don't matter. They shook on it. Chris didn't say nothing, so. It happens. Yeah. Even the best chalkers make mistakes. And once you pull them darts. Yeah, one, I mean, once a turn goes by, like when Willie comes back up, you've already taken your turn, and he throws that first dart, they don't matter. I mean, you, you, you've accepted what the chalker has put down. 43 score. Uh-oh. Chris is yelling at himself. Yep. Solid tone. He's actually speed, sped up, which probably suits him well. It's, people sometimes go into shutdown, slowdown mode when they're not playing well. Do you think maybe um, – now, I'm not accusing him of playing antics or nothing like that, but do you think when you slow yourself down, as in he was doing earlier, now you're saying he's speeding up, you kind of, like, take yourself out of it? I think you can. I mean, you see it in every stage of the game. Guys purposely dropping a dart when they pull them out of the board or whatever or just walking up and looking and looking at the chalker and talking like, I can't believe none of them were in the triple. If they're winning, they don't do that. They yeah, just pull it, they're grinning, and they move on. I mean, I just watch it too much. But when they're losing, that's when they start doing it. And it's, it, it definitely is a gamesmanship mental thing. And fair play, there's nothing that says you can't do that in the rules of the game. But you see how quick he pulls them when he's yep. throwing good. And if you're a rhythm player or sort of a rhythm player and you slow yourself down like that trying to slow the other guy down, I'm, I'm a firm believer. You play what's your best pace for you. And that's a big Don't. 137 for Willie there. there. Yep. So now he's going to start slowing down a little bit. Yeah. 06, 96 left. It, it, it. Starts sagging a little bit, so he probably don't like the lie of it. But nope. yeah. So now what? Uh, so he's probably going to slow up to the board. Eh, no, he no, nope, he's pretty good. Time, but I was surprised too. I would have bet that he would have just kind of. Oh, was that the 19? 19. 63 left. 13 leaves the bull. Strip 13. Bullseye it is. Yeah. Oh, it just wired it. I want to be sarcastic and say you got to want it, Willie. <laughs> it was right on the wire. Could have been any closer without going in. What is the score? Where do we see the score? 2-0. Two 2-0. -oh. Two -oh. oh, down here. Yep. The bottom of the big monitor in front of you. I'm watching the dartboard, <laughs> Joel. <laughs> Need to go pee again? No. Okay, just making sure. You failed the first test of being a commentator. <laughs> <laughs> I failed a lot of tests. Oh, wow. Oh, 50 left. Bowl? Or is he going to set up? I don't know that he. Oh, uh, oh, I guess no. he was throwing for 57 to leave four. I that totally. Wow. And yet you see Willie just not even looking. Yeah, that's what you got to do. When and I think he's using that guy in front of him that he's talking to to help him yeah, out. Just, like, is he done yet? Yeah, keep chatting. Let me know when he's back. I don't even know what he was throwing at. The 10 to leave himself tops. 
That one I do. Okay. The 21. Even as bad as your math is, you would have went through with the 19 or 7 on, on 71. Ooh, boy. If he trips the 19, he's got 14. Yeah. I don't None know. of that, nothing there makes sense. But there it he, is. He got it to zero on the end, but that was a squirrely leg right there. Now he's got that little grin going. Yep. <laughs> 180. Oh, 140. Slacker. If his barrels were thinner, they would have went in. He just picked up darts yesterday or something with that third <laughs> Oh, Chris somebody, tries to oh. answer back. Oh, that was Roundtree in the background over there. He's screaming. Yeah, he won. Ooh. All over. This is the kind of leg I was expecting the whole time. I mean, maybe Chris is a slower-paced player in general. I don't know that, but definitely tell when he's playing better he's quicker than when he's yeah, playing bad. Yeah, he's swift. Yeah, swift. Ah, yes. Like that? Yes. Pun intended. Pun? Speaking of <laughs> double <Punt>. champs. <laughs> so. Ugh. Don't take this the wrong way, Larry, but that was a Larry Butler throw your shoulder into yep. the third dart there. He's got it perfected. <laughs> Chris, has, however, has not. Nice ton there from Willie. I would go 19, sir. 19s? Yep. Five of them lose you 170. If you hit five 20s, it leaves you 165. It don't matter now. You can't, you can't do nothing now. You should have switched after the first start. So. Set it up. Nice ton. Nice ton there from Willie. All right, Willie will have three darts here at 56. When he comes up to the line next, can he advance to the top eight? Ooh, Swift putting a little pressure on here, 180. A little late for that, though. Willie don't seem like the type to get flustered with pressure. Here we go. Good marker. Ooh. Oh, and just low. Now Swift needs a double 10 here to tie it up at two legs apiece. And he'll be starting the fifth leg. Yeah. Is that in? I think so. There you have it. 2-2. Two, two. It is 2-2 two two in this race to three best of five format. Now the format doesn't change until the next round. Yep. Well, I don't know. Is it top best eight of seven. It changes? Yeah, top eight. Best of five. What are they doing? Chris is acting like he don't know what's going on. Yeah. It's ain't his first rodeo, so. No, he knows exactly what's going on. He's like, oh, I get to start. This is the fifth oh, leg. give me another hug. Yeah. All right, here we go. Now we're getting underway. Oh, and that's the start with. Oh, see, there's the antics again. Yep, yep. He's going to try anything to try oh. to win this. Will it get to Willie? Nope. Solid start. After the first start, I'm sure he's disappointed with not hitting another big triple. But yeah. When, the, when your opponent starts with 32, you're just wanting one big triple when you walk to the line. So He's starting to put way too much shoulder and body into it. So, perfect start. Solid tone. Swift's got to hit at least two triples here to get, get himself back in this game. Up, up. Oh, man. All right. Let's see if Willie can take advantage here. Willie could run away with this. He's got the throw. Just got to stay solid. That he did with a big 140 there from Willie Bruyere. That's a smidge better than solid. 
So Chris has got to throw a buck 80 just to leave it out. That's not going to happen now. 35 shot. Yeah, he's throwing way too much body into that third dart. Oh, will he look for it? Oh, he, oh he looked man. At it. Cheeky grin on his face there. <laughs> I Cheeky think that was more grin. of shoving up, you yeah, know? Yeah, he's like, slow me down. Will you watch this 167 in style? Big Willie style. Oh, I like it. Yeah, he got it in there with that shoulder. Left him the 170. Oof. Oh, if Willie loses this, it's because it's not because he beat, of, it, he beat himself. Yeah. But he's had opportunities at doubles. If, if Chris was to check this out, which would be huge. Nope, that can't he's not do it. Do it now, but but it's probably Willie should have just set it up. But yeah, I mean the guy's on three hundred or whatever. I've been there myself. Yeah. Said, ah, oh, darn. Like, I thought I was going to check the 170, even though I had knew deep down there was like a 1% chance of it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, man. Uh-oh. And Chris already has his darts almost put away. Yeah, he had him laid down there next to somebody's purse. There's the, one, there's the 25. Needs a triple 20 here. 80. All right, Willie Neaton, Settle double four. Down. Wow. Oh, man, man, wow. oh, man. Wow. Chris with a gift here, 60 needed. There's the 20. Tops for the win. Wow, oh wow. Chris Swift just got a early, early Christmas gift or late Christmas late. gift from Willie Breer, winning it three legs of two and advancing to the top eight. Wow, that's all I can say is wow.